Greetings fellow model builders. In this video, I will show you guys how to paint this, what I call a jade effect, a very simple, unique and rarely used effect which has two methods to choose from. Let's get started. These are what I will be using to do the jade effect. Gloss black, gum metal, which is optional, bright silver, quite essential, and whatever clear paint you wish to choose, in my case green, of course. Our main protagonist of the first method is a piece of dried white wipe. And for the second one, you will need a cheap brush that is ready to be sacrificed. Spray the glossy black first. Remember to stretch the wipe before covering the parts with it. That way, the paint can actually go through the wipe. And that's our first layer finished. Now do the same procedure with bright silver. The one problem with these wipes is that they will leave a lot of tiny, hard to find fibers that is just stuck on your parts. And let me tell you something, they are not the easiest to clean up. The last step will be putting on the clear paint. I chose green because it suits my aesthetic. You can try out different colors if you want. Finished, move on to the second method. The second method needs you to break one of your brushes, dip it into the paint and poke it onto your desk vertically with a piece of paper on it to scatter your brush and to rub off most of the paint. Once done, just poke your parts with that brush you totally just destroyed. Repeat this movement until you are satisfied with the result. And that's it. The rest of the procedure will be the same as the first one. Spray the clear paint and you are done. Like I said, Simple and easy to do. Now, with every essential steps illustrated, you can try these methods right now. But before you just do that, there are a few things that I would like to tell you. The first is with the white wipe. You can stretch it into different shapes and sizes to do different effects. For example, stretch it wider will give you bigger shiny areas. On the contrary, if you stretch it less, the shiny parts will be smaller in size and are more dense. The second thing is, the first method, even with the additional process of cleaning up the fibers that got stuck, it is still quicker to do than the second one, especially in large areas. But they do create quite different results. The last thing is, the clear paint can be any color. It does not have to be green. I have seen people using other color, for example blue, and their results are pretty good. You do need to consider what you want exactly. Before starting painting any kits, probably experimenting the color you want on some leftover parts, just to be safe. The reason why I told you these three things is because Gumpla is free. There is no fixed equations to do anything. You should always find what suits you the most instead of trying to do exactly what others have done. Stretch those wipes the way you like. Try different size brushes to poke the parts. Paint other colors. And if you have any questions you would like to ask me, just at me on the social media you use. Or even better, join my Discord server. I will be actively posting my work in progress pictures and chat with you guys. I will also be posting more painting tutorial videos in the recent future. If you want to see those, you know what to do.